through uh, Alberta where it meets up with the South Saskatchewan River and eventually this water makes its way all the way out to the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, now we're on the eastern side of the Continental Divide. Here. There's no salmon run here in the Bow River because the fish can't get that far over the mountains from the Pacific Ocean but as the river clears up here and the sediment starts to settle out the Bow River becomes world renowned for its fly fishing. There's lots of trout in this river. I had one last night. <laughs> <laughs> one less. Is that what it I is? I think so. What's that? Are you turning the boat purposely? <laughs> yeah, so everyone can see stuff. You see? <laughs> 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 that's why we're here. Do I understand? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now you, you know why does. I was successful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very observant. <laughs> It's an Indian village with a cell tower in the middle of it. <laughs> you guys look way back upstream from here now at this side of Tunnel Mountain. What you're seeing here is the back side of Tunnel Mountain in 1883 when the railroad was being built for this part of Canada. They actually thought they were going to have to plant the mountain. Now the surveyor climbed up to the top. He looked around and realized it was easy just to go around the side of the mountain and never built a tunnel. 
remains sort of stuck. The native people, though, call this mountain Katanga, which means uh, buffalo, and that's because when you look at it from here, it sort of looks like a sleeping buffalo. Yeah. 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 That's a good word, it's the results. Catch off where the water slower, we have more beavers. You occasionally see them here swimming along the banks though. They really like to feed on this willow, which is the uh, sort of silver green shrub you're seeing along the banks. Elk also come down here to browse on here as well. Oh, that's just a little bird. <laughs> Which side? Now it's a good time to keep your eyes open for wildlife because that was the end of the golf course right there. And now the animals are tend to be down here further. That was for the right. You just ate the one time. Well, breakfast you only have. Breakfast you have daisies and you go for roses for lunch. He wasn't intimidated at all by people. No. Uh, I was standing this yeah. close to him yeah. taking pictures. Well, it's like the big one you have. If I was as big as that, <laughs> I wouldn't be worried about humans either. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dinosaurs took the light. It's pretty chill over here. Yes. sandy sediment that hardened into sandstone over a long period of time. And now erosion's worn away at the whole embankment here and is exposed to the hard sandstone. And that's how we get these hoodoos here. If you look way up at the top there, there's a viewpoint, there's a bunch right. of people staring down at us right now. It's up by the campgrounds here in Banff National Park. The native people, they believe that the hoodoos are uh, guardian spirits. Of course. They're watching all the spirits. The elk like coming down to this part of the valley right here because of all these little islands, especially in the spring when they're calving. 